All right, now we got that squared away. Yeah, oh, what's up, John? Shaking bacon. Thanks for the book, by the way. I haven't started reading it yet. <laughs> John's a wonderful person. I don't know about that tawny person. She needs to... She needs to go away. <laughs> she just told you to F off. <laughs> oh, did she? I couldn't yeah. hear. Yeah, well. Oh, anywho. Pitter patter, let's get at her. <laughs> um, so I probably should go live on mine then, too. If you so desire. Yeah. Probably go on mine, too, I guess. Well, you remember that it starts I'm killing I'm going it. off of Wi Fi, though. I'm going on to my. Yay, look, look, yeah. Now live on your channel. I am well aware. Thank you very much. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What are you doing? God, we gotta get a studio. Oh, there come on, man. Broke the new one. Ah, it's Kit Cox that have to supply me with a free one, right? Is that right? Right? Does that look okay? That works, yep. Yeah. All right. Live. 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 Two lives. Because I got YouTube so, and hi Facebook there. on my Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Yep. This is terrible. Yeah, that's okay. Anywho. Who? Uh, who's on first? Trying to reconnect. What the hell's wrong with you? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Who's on first? What's on second? I don't give a damn's on third. I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. John says, or come use my studio. That would require us getting in the car. Yeah. Driving an hour. Fighting traffic. Recording. Driving an hour back. What's going on, Steve? What's up, Tyler? Anyways. Anyway, okay. Uh, we Who? Recording a little bit. So, let's just go ahead and get the intro going. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 23 of the Daddy Brigade Podcast. I'm Keith the Bearded Tank. I'm Zach the Tactical Gnome. And in this episode... We've, com- t- we've completely botched this intro. Yeah, that's okay. We'll just keep going. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about some of our uh, dad vices. Uh, zoo- uh, what? What? Uh, you boys need to get a Zoom H4N. Yeah! Right. I don't know what that is. It's a modem. Oh. Oh. Fair enough. My internet at home is a Verizon jetpack hotspot. So. Mm. Really, the problem is is we have just too many live feeds. Yeah. I mean, there's three Four. going connected to your internet. My phone's not connected to the internet. Mm, that could be why. To your Wi-Fi. Uh, yeah, but uh, this week... We're talking about dad vices. Things we do when we hide away from our children. You, what do you do? You do that? I, I got four times as many as you do, dude. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> you just have hobbies. I have to hide away and do vices. <laughs> well, I mean... you know. But, 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 what are you doing? I have no idea. I just wanted to go... No, I don't... Wait, wait, uh, yes, wait, what? That's for you to comment. <clears throat> yes, comment, thank you. There, okay. Anyways. Anyway, so what do you do when you got to hide away from the minion? Uh, normally I just drop them off at my mom's or my stepmom's. Okay, but what do you do when you've dro- after you've dropped them off? Come home and sleep. God. I'm just kidding. No, um, so, like today, like now that he's in kindergarten, it's kind of nice. Um, because... He's gone from 8.30 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon. And so it's kind of nice That's okay. for... Oh, he said it's a microphone hub. Oh, yes, yes. 
I thought you were talking the Zoom, like, internet thing. What the hell did that do? I don't know, you just touched... We are having technical difficulties this Wow, moment. let's see. Yeah, it's, it's gonna... Good. It's Yep, there it goes. Anyways. Yeah, whatever. No, 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 no. I don't understand why it's... <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, all I did was hit Seymour on his comment. True... Tommy, he said, all I need is one roll of duct tape. Yeah. Keith actually could get by with one roll of duct tape and, like, 35 feet of paracord. I don't understand what this thing is freaking doing. I'm going to have to end this and start over. Copious amounts of cat... Co- <laughs> copious amounts of cocaine. He does copious amounts of cocaine. Yeah. yeah. Wait, okay. which one? Who or me? He, me or him? Probably you. Oh. But, uh, Tyler, one sec. i got to restart. I don't know what the hell my phone's doing. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, the intro like my whiskey and cigar that was I was having while grilling earlier. I make intros for podcasts. Yeah. But um, Indeed, so for everybody that's still here, so basically when it comes to the okay, I'm not touching me getting away from my kid. It's really while he's in school, I get a lot of time to hi Tyler. <laughs> I get time to. Um, Yes, I know. My live is behind. I don't know why. Um, God, he's. I'm, we're going to lose all train of thought. Anyways, so while my kid is at school um, on my days off, which is Friday and Saturday, which is changing in two weeks to Sunday and Monday, um, so we'll have to find another date to record Sunday this. Night's fine with or me. Friday night, because I'll be home at 6.30. <laughs> Yes, my commander decided to say hi. <laughs> Go watch Pikachu. Okay. Kid is watching Shh. Detective. I'm going back to the cool life. That's fine. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, thanks. He did. Thanks. Yep. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so with him being in school, um, used to be I would take him over to my mom's, or my mom would come and pick him up so I could get some just stuff done. Wash the car, go places I needed to go. Now with him being in school, it's very nice because I get a chance to drop him off at school in the morning, pick him up on Fridays at night, or in the afternoon, I guess. But then I also, like today, came back. Intentions were to come in, take like a half hour nap, and get up and go do stuff. Well, half hour nap turned into three hours. Yeah. I either A, needed it, or B, was super tired and still needed it. So, went back to sleep, got up, went out, fixed my chainsaw, cut some limbs down, did some dishes, and I went and picked them up and then came back and finished the dishes. So, really, I just try to go and do things that I need to get done, but, like, if I had the time to get away, like, or really wanted to get away, I'd go to the shooting range or... Go work on the cars, go drink beer with friends, which seems to be the normal, common thing. Yeah. So what's yours? Um, well, one of them... This is going to be a short podcast. No, I... I would... Eight minutes. Yeah, eight minutes. Cha-ching. Done. Say bye. Um, I mean, I'm kind of a nerd. So, you know, I'll... I'll no. Shut up. I'll play video games or do, you know, shit on the computer. Um, See, I only do the video graphics. games during, like, from here, probably about the time I start my new schedule, like in October. You know, back, like, when Call of Duty used to get released in October, yeah. like, that was the big deal. So, like, from then until, um, like, spring, like, that's, like, I play video games. Like, that's the only time of year I play video games is, like, yeah. through the winter months. Yeah, yeah, me, really me too, because, you know, I've got a lot of shit going on at the house, um, doing, uh... Your other house, we just need to... Both houses, yeah. Take a sledgehammer, too. Having a shoot tomorrow afternoon in Northwest. Uh, if I wasn't going to be in Worcester all day, I'd be there, but... Um, but yeah, I mean, I just, you know, I got a, a wood lathe, so I've been playing with that a bit, trying to get practice. I need to sharpen my chisels already, but... They were cheap chisels, so 
Yeah, you just got that, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, I've had it for like a month and a half, but I haven't turned a whole lot. I don't have anything cool like that. I've just been playing with saws and cleaning knives. Yeah, I need to get it moved out to the uh, the shed where my other power tools are, because uh, wood turning makes a mess. So Yeah. I've been doing it on the end of my desk, farthest away from my computer. Holy shit, my eyes like fucking Yeah, your eye is red as I'll get out. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I'll make you a pen. Boo, make me a pen. He said bro. Bro, bro, boo. I think he meant he meant to call you boo. <laughs> like, as in boo thing. Anywho. Uh, but yeah, play with the, you know, the lay that I like to read. Got a lot of books. Ask That's one thing I do. Many books. That's one thing I do like to do is read. I've been doing a lot of it while at work this week. Well, not this week, for the past several <laughs> months. This is the bloodshot eyes from the copious amounts of cocaine. <laughs> Guys got jokes. Guys got jokes. You know what? Here, put this over here. Let's see if it... Wait, didn't we figure out if we put them next to each other, it jacks it up? Something, I don't know. I think it's something to do with the audio. Okay. You know what? Hold on. Fuck this. Yeah. Bye. I'm done. <laughs> Cancel. Bye. But, uh... Live. 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 <laughs> Playing with his there. Okay. Um. Anyways, copious amounts of cocaine. Yeah. Which yeah. I don't do. I don't do drugs. Boo, bro, whatever. Bro, <laughs> boo. Yeah. But... Wow. All of your books that you read tend to be non-fiction. Mm. Most of them tend to be... Most. Mine, most are hi- fiction or historical. Yeah, most of mine are like sci-fi fantasy. Now there are, t- but most of my books have to do with war or military. Like there is a book called Fallen Angels that I've read, oh, probably a hundred times. I'm not even joking, and probably fifty of those were just my seventh and eighth grade year. To the point where the teacher bought me a copy of it. Oh shit. Because I literally kept checking it out of our library. Like, in our English class, I just kept signing that book out, like, every couple weeks. So she just bought me my own copy. Because I absolutely love the book. She actually wrote in the book, she's like, well, all you ever see in books is war. Eh, Probably. I will definitely. He said, check out Going Home by A. American. A. American, huh? American? A. American. I see that. Yeah. No, I'm... There we go. Also, the borrowed world. But um, so, like that book's nonfiction. Um, the one book that you know everybody wants to jump on, which I showed you, the Turner Diaries. Yeah. See the books that I've read the most, and they show because they got duct tape holding the binding together. I don't let mine get that far. Well, see, this one I bought when I was in junior high. Mm. So, my Fallen Angels is probably close to that. Yeah, uh, it's the Harry Potter books. I've read those. I can't tell you how many times, but those that it's. I told you, sci-fi fantasy. I don't know what you want me to say about it. I like reading the books. I don't know how we're friends. Those are the books I like to read. If I'm reading, it's an escape from. Oh no! I like to read. I like to read about people's like lives and military history. That's why I'm reading that David Hackworth book. Yeah. Which I literally didn't read anymore after I talked to you guys the other night. I was like, I'm going to read this book. I picked the book up, read one word, and went, fuck this, I'm going to bed. (laughs) I was so tired. But anyway, so I do like to read. um, Occasionally smoke cigars. Um, I like to drink. Which I wouldn't say, like... You, like, dude, this is the longest, this this is long. I'm surprised you actually this is shows long. that you have hair. <laughs> Can we put up the beep? We'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back in one second. Blood running down my nose. Technical big, difficulties. Big, big and <laughs> Anyways. Like my fun size joke earlier. <laughs> Keith had a slip and fall on the set today. What did he slip and fall on? My fist. (laughs) Yeah. Repeatedly. And then the curb. 
Um, uh, anyways. Yes. Yes, I do. But by the time I actually get a chance to go out and sit next to the fire with a cup of coffee, it's freaking 11 o'clock at night. Because my kids fight going to bed. See, I just take my kid out with me to the fire, and then he eventually falls asleep by the fire, so... I do like to do that. This is the time of year that I do like being outside. Yeah. yeah. Even it, during not the day. Too hot, it's not, not too cold. hot. Well, today this actually. This morning was freaking freezing. Oh my I god, dude. Out. I had 44 this 44 degrees. I had the seat heater on. I had the freaking heater on in the car. Yeah. Driving him to school. Like a four and a half minute ride to school. I had the seat heater on. The heat cranked. Like went out and started my car. I was like, this is bullshit. I was cold. Actual questions and, and talking, talking points. points. What talking question points? Um, Anyways, that's what he's what he means when he yeah. when he's posting. Now it's gonna be. Oh. So basically, we. Um, oh, sorry, John. Uh, for weeks, if you point out phones, point your phones at each other and, and rebroadcast it, it's season of the future. Uh, you should read the technician's license book, Zach. Yes, Zach. Yes, I should, but I have not. I just used Ham Study. Well, I have the book. You had me download the technician's book and then Ham Study. I just have been super busy doing other shit. Like. What's up, Joe? Working. Yo, Joe. What's up, buddy? Yo, Joe. <laughs> Showed my age a little bit. <sighs> when G.I. Joe was actually a good cartoon. That actually to was watch. a damn good cartoon to watch. Did you ever watch the movie? Like the yeah, the, the one with Channing Tatum? No, 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 no. no, no. Those ones? no okay. forget yeah. that. Yeah, G.I. Joe. I was gonna say the like, G- what? cartoon GI Joe movie, yes. like where like Cobra Law and all that. The big dude with the Cobra hood. Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite movies. That was another thing that I wore out that, as a kid. That was one thing, and I still do it today. If it's something that I thoroughly like, like movies or you know, I as a kid. Watched that probably 30 times to where they eventually just took it off the shelf when I came in so I couldn't rent it anymore. <laughs> um, I think I've seen most military war movies that were out by the time I was eight at the time. So, like, Platoon, all that, like, the whole way up. I yeah. think I've seen most of those. Um, but, yeah, like, i watch watched movies over and yes, over and over and over. I am well aware, Tyler. And it is because they transmit on FRS which and GMRS... Unlicensed frequencies and the ham band frequencies. I was going to say, funny that we just were using. Them. Yeah, yeah, we were just using them, testing he, them because he I, actually has my other one. Yeah, because he left them at my other house hey. one day, and I forgot to grab them on the way here. Oh, so we're both equal. Yep. So we're squared. I'll just make sure I get them to you next time. Yeah, right. Next thing I know, Keith will be like, "Hey, I inherited a new thing. Shut up. <laughs> I know where you live. No. Both properties. Yeah. Um. And what's amazing? I don't know what he's talking about. And it's amazing. What? What? The feds are banning? Why is that amazing if the feds are banning? Is that what he's getting at? I don't know. Just got a fork headed home. What's up, brother? The real G- Yes, the real G.I. Joe. Yes, the real G.I. Joe. <laughs> we can be buddies. Oh, he must have a bowfang. Oh, well, he, yeah. Yeah, so we can all talk. And yeah. Yeah. It just keeps growing up. I know. I don't know why the frequencies. Yeah. I mean, he wants I, to know what your frequency is. I think. I don't know. Uh, uh, uh. No, no, I'm not. How the hell do you look like Girardi? I don't. It, that's what I'm thinking. But it wanted me to tag Girardi. Dude, my eyes. Fucked. Hold on, I gotta get. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I I have my tech class ham license, so I mean, that's. Uh, I just want to know, like... Yes, the Balfangs are amazing. Even though it's just the UV5Rs that are being banned, you can still get the uh, the upgraded version. It's all laid out the same and programs the same. It's the uh, F8HP. It's twice the price, but... I thought it was the FH... Or I thought it was the U. Huh? I thought it was the F8U. There's the U... U. No, HP. Um, I mean, there's the... Uh, yes, the... Well, yeah! We have two little... Cobra two ways that we use around the house all down at the farm and the kids get those and my wife and I have a UV5R we just and I've got them programmed to have channel 101 to 122 what? as 
the uh, on what? I uh, turned my feet off. Uh, yeah, 101 to 122 is the FRS frequency. So I just if they, their radios are on channel one. I turned at least it I think I turned channel my feet 101. off. Channel 101. Um, so it works. Yeah, and it does. It. I mean, it. It technically says. Um, the two meter and seventy centimeter band frequencies, um, but it like I said, it runs FRS, GMRS, um, it runs MERS frequencies. How the hell did we get on to fucking? I don't know. I, my nerd side's coming out. I'm I'm okay. It's a vice. I'm a nerd. Um, Dude, I keep thinking it's a... Tyler says stop yelling. But uh, it, man, it I put it in the MERS. wrong freaking eye. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I. Uh, Which one is red? Yeah. This one or this one? That one. This your right eye. This one is not. That one is fine. Okay, so I definitely put that in the wrong eye. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you have a chance to buy an UV five R by Monday, do it. Yeah, as long as you buy it by Monday, you don't have to have it in your possession. No. It's not no. like they're going to The stop purchase mail. is finalized on Monday, so it'll be fine. Okay. So, vices. We have vices. Yes. My nicotine vice. Yeah. Let's not talk about that. Vaping's bad, okay? Yeah, well. (laughs) I love how both of our phones go off. Well, it's because it was through signal. It was a signal message. Um, anyways, uh, one of my other yes. vices, which I think, what? Shooting, that's a solid vice. I yes. was just getting, t- I was just <laughs> going to say that. Guns and shooting, that's yep. a vice. Um, this podcast, I enjoy getting away from the house. For no, I think this is more of a job for me. We're not making anything off of it. You're right. This is I what, need to monetize the shit. Yeah, what, but, well, slave labor. Yeah. No, um, this podcast is, this podcast is actually fun. I look forward to doing it. I actually get mad at myself when we don't do an episode. That's why I started doing the reviews. Like, if you notice the other night, yeah. I board, or the other day, I did a shit one on my knife. Um, I did get my optic in, and yeah. you've seen it. You looked yeah. through it, and it's nice and pretty. Nice. Um, now I can see into the future. Well, at least 600 yards. Yeah. I think for my, lo- my long gun, I'm going to get that cheap, crappy one off there and put a Diamondback but, Tactical on it. But you realize, though, it's just that's just for the oh, AR. I know. I know. The, the, the big one is down at my dad's, but it's a Vortex uh, Viper PST. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't know. It just hurts. Yeah. Tyler seems to have, like, all the cool vices, you know, like red dot therapy. Boys, RMR is the future. I, dude, I, mine this kid is reading my mind. Right? Stop it. <laughs> I have a red dot on mine. No, 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 no. He's talking about... On the pistol. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. If no, I could yeah. mill my slide for an RMR, it would be. Yeah. I'm going but to probably send your friend that you told me about. 4 to 24? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm going to end up getting a uh, dovetail plate for mine because I can't mill the slide. But. Yeah. It's the 4 to 24 uh, PST, I think. Yeah. Precision. Precision shooting and target, I think is what it stands for. Because he was going to get the HST for its. I don't know. No. But, I, but I convinced him to get the PST instead. Um, he said, don't. Yeah, too late. We already got it. <laughs> uh, my, I have an XD. I've already looked. There's not enough material to mill for an RMR. Yeah, no, Tyler, I'm g- I want your guy to mill my slide. I'll have to send you pictures of what some of the cool shit I want done. Or something that I want done. Yeah. Um, yeah. Your, your phone's pissing me off. Viper PST is life. Yeah, that's what my dad has, is the Viper PST. Sell it. <laughs> well, I'm, g- I'm going to keep it and then buy something I can Wait, get milled. Damn it. What are you doing, bro? Yes, I buy a block. On, I, I know. I plan on buying a nineteen. Just, go, just actually, you know what? Yet. Boom, boom, problem boom. solved. Actually, you know what? I think he should buy. And Tyler, you can agree with me on this. Is that brand spanking new Springfield Hellcat? No, I don't want a Hellcat. 
Did you see how much it is? Yes. I don't remember. Why? Was, 600. But... Oh, yeah. Why? Anyways. I, I know I know Zach Cox would buy it. Oh, yeah, he would. Uh, so, but yeah, shooting guns. BFF8. Well, yeah, BF-F8HP. It's the 8-watt updated version of the okay. UV5R. Yes. Everyone yeah, well, needs a Gen 5 anyway. Yeah, well. I don't want a Gen 5. I like my Gen 4s. Oh, my God. Jesus. So Buy a Glock, the, boom. No, get the 45. Fud, Fud life. Yeah, Fud, like, yep, but. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'm actually... You have me convinced to buy the 45. Will you message him back and let him know we, since your phone's not streaming? Oh, Jesus Christ. What is it? Who am I missing? The second, yeah. Let me know. Yeah. And where to send a payment to... Yeah, just just say I will reply shortly when we're done. Uh, no. I, I like mine. I mean, I bought it right after the XDs just came out. That was five years ago-ish or so. But uh, <clears throat> The big igloo. Yeah, the big igloo. I like Actually, it. we need to come up with a better name for it. We should probably call it the Big Lua Igloo Boogaloo. The Big Luau Igloo that's, Boogaloo. That's just too many words. Well, that, but that's all of them. Like, so we'll just call it the Big Luau Boogaloo Igloo. We'll just call it the party. Because I like to party. <laughs> what? Dude, I cannot look at that screen, dude. Like, it makes my eye look fucking hideous. Yeah, it does. I don't know. Okay, 10 years ago. I don't know. I bought it in, like, 2014 or 15. So you had it before. Yeah. See, I had the original XD. Mine is a Mod 1 original Yeah, well, I bought mine. I bought mine 11 years ago. Shit. Because I bought it right before I got my... I bought it in June of 2008. He said, hold up. He's going to send you a pic of the Gucci 45. Yeah, I got it in like, I got it in 15. Yeah. The Gucci 45. I like Gucci. Give or, give or take. Two Actually, I should, I should, that's what I should do on my uh, grip. Just have a bunch of the Gucci logo. Done. <laughs> Gucci Glock! Oh, I'm going to put that card away. Anyways, this, this is why we never get it. That's okay. This one is, you know, one of us. This is one of the vices. I mean, you know. Hi, Jerd. Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I mean, I, uh, boop, 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 boop. I'm at work as, you know. Oh, god damn him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, this is I've the one he was one. shooting today. Yeah. Uh, you know, I work for, can, you know, my father-in-law doing construction and carpentry and stuff so i like to play in the wood shop making i like to make stuff if i have to get away and i don't want to be in the house and it's nice outside i'll go out to the shed and play See, with power I just, tools i just like being outside yeah um but like back in the day like one of the things i thoroughly enjoyed and i want to get back into it is four wheeling like not like just riding four wheelers, but like mudding, lifted jeeps, stuff like that. Overland. I would like to do something yeah. like that. Yeah. Maybe when I get the Tacoma. The Taco. El. I think the license plate's going to say El Taco. And most of the people on here are probably too young to remember that place. It was actually that was actually a restaurant, El Taco. Well, I didn't grow up around here, so neither. I yeah, I know. It, but it wasn't around here. It was all down south. Oh. Um, and in Arizona. A little, but, you know, four kids trying to get them to cooperate for uh, an extended period of time, and me getting to go out and do something like that by myself. I'm more... I like to go rucking once in a while, but not... I haven't been hiking in a while. I, just, I need to. I just need to go to Boardman Park. They got lots of trails out there. I just there. like and being got, in the freaking woods. Yeah. I've got a... 20-ish pound weighted backpack. Yeah, I just like being out in the woods. 
I like growing my beard. That's a vice. I've already been yelled at enough this week for it at work, but we're going to go. Because I figured, I figured out this plan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grow it out for the big boogaloo. So I look like one of the Green Beret operators, and maybe, like, they'll mistake me. So, like, we'll just, like, I may not be able to shoot for shit, but, like, I'll have the, you know, they'll be like, oh, yeah, he's one of us. Probably not. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. Do you need a refill? Yeah. Just a small, you don't need a tall. No, just a small, no tall. But, uh. Yeah, I mean, I like to hang out with the kids, play play outside with the kids, but... Really, though, like, I like spending time with my kids. Oh, yeah. That's the thing, like... I wish I could do that, Tyler. What? He says, no, nah, man, grab a pack, leave for a week, and live in the woods for a week. Oh, I would, in a heartbeat. I used to do it as a kid. I yeah, if we did that, though, like, if yeah. we did that, I may not come back, because, like, if we grabbed a pack and went and lived in the woods for a week, we'd make an eight-hour drive, and then just we wouldn't come back. Yeah. Because we'd be going to Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. It definitely is. I like being out in the woods. But my ass would go to Tennessee if we're going to go in the woods. Um, a lot of bills wouldn't get paid that week, though, if I did, did that. Because the wife's a stay-at-home mom. I'm and my pretty, father-in-law might get pissed if I just don't show up for work for a week. <laughs> pretty sure we could just sell her for a week. Like, she could go clean houses or something for a week. Well, it, if we do it between... A- January and April. Oh yeah, yeah, we'd be yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Because my wife. We works can go. We can go in March. That time. Yeah, we can go in March. Anyways, but yeah, like I really thoroughly, I don't mind being with my kid. There are days I want to like just pull my hair out. What's left of it? Bite Luscious. me. <laughs> bite me. Okay. Just fucking bite me. This is the worst. This is the second worst podcast we've ever done. I think. What the first one's when I had to edit out three minutes. No, 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 no. That wasn't even bad. That wasn't even bad. No, the one we did where it was like only forty-seven minutes long or whatever. Oh, yeah. I forget what that one was on. That was terrible. I don't um, even remember. Anywho. Yeah. No, like I do spend time like enjoying spending time with my little boy and being able to spend time with my wife and kid. There are days where I would like to go hide in the woods for a week because my wife and kid drive me nuts. Just go full Mr. Clean, he says. I'm probably going to do it. I don't know when, but I'm going to do it. Keith, I swear to God, if we lose the audio again this week, I'm punching your computer. It was That was my fault. I hit the, the mouse. I'm, I'm donkey punching your computer. But, you know, I think, sir, I'm not big into sports. That's, you know, I see that being a big vice for people. Sports, going to sporting events, this and yeah. that. I don't like sports. No. One, sports got too political. Two. Formula Drift is the only sport that I watch. Well, see, I used to watch NASCAR. I like. Oh, look, left turn. Oh, look, another left turn. <laughs> Do it one more time. Left turn. Oh, look, another left turn. Okay, I don't mind it. I, I like racing, any type of racing, drag racing, stock car racing, drifting, all that. Um, but NASCAR got political. Yeah. So everything's getting political. Now I don't watch NASCAR anymore. And I'm just kind of like, what the hell? That's why I like my backyard drag racing stuff, like grassroots yeah. shit. The grassroots stuff's fun. That's where all the fun fights are at too. Yeah. Like. There used to be a show called uh, Madhouse on uh, History Channel, and it was about uh, Bowman Gray Raceway, or well, they call it Bowman Gray Stadium. It's in uh, oh Winston Salem, and they, I mean, this place is known for just fist fights and wrecks. And they did a series down there, and I thought it was the coolest damn thing. I was like, dude, this makes me want to get a race car and go race with these guys. That was something, as a you know, teenager, that I like to do. What, race? Yeah. I thought that you liked to do that up until you got rid of the WRX. 
Dude, I did it in my old Geo Prism that I had. Dude, I had fun going to your other property coming through those bends. It was just oh, like... Yeah. Wah, bah, wah, bah, wah. If you could drive as the crow flies to get there, it'd take you like a half an hour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there are too many goddamn bends down through there, dude. Route 9 goes... Every direction. But coming up that last hill... Oh, yeah, coming like, up Like, dude, no, that's... Yeah, from Bay Road. Yeah. I wish I had... I wish my car was manual, because I just... Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. I need to buy another manual drift car thingy. And then you and me need to go down there and just set up road cones. Like, block, close the road off, get one good pass in before the cops show up, and then go. I might be able to talk to a few of the sheriff's deputies. Just if I could get one good rip through there, just blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It was fun in the wrecks. Oh, dude, I was having fun with the sports stick and the beamer just... Because it would just, it would bring it down so quick and then I'd have yeah. to smack it up again. The only downfall was, you know, the, my issue with third gear in it. Ah. I was either hitting second or fourth and fourth, meh, second's a little too wound out. Wee! I mean, boost is nice. <laughs> but, you know. Oh, great. Who the heck is texting me? Probably my wife to tell me to shut the hell up. Oh, no, it's Tyler. It's pretty baller. Yes, 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 yes. Tyler, it is pretty baller. <sighs> it's budimus. I don't, I don't know if I'd want that type of Cerakote job on it, but yeah, I need to have mine done. Yeah. I'm thinking... I don't know what I'm thinking for Cerakote yet. Stick with everything black or OD. I don't know. But I do like the stippling job on that. I'm afraid to stipple. Everybody's like, just stipple your own. No! Buy an extra cheapy AR pistol grip and practice on it. No, I'm if no, because I want to get rid of the grooves on mine. I don't like the finger grooves. Oh, yeah. But that's not stippling. That's... Well, that's modifying the whole... Yeah. There, trust me on Anyways. I know. Um... Coffee. Coffee is one of my places. Yes. Yeah. You black like rifle your black coffee. rifle. I like my dangerous but good coffee. I could easily get you hooked on black rifle though because well, you already said you liked it. Oh yeah, I like black uh, rifle. Don't get me wrong. I just don't have that kind of money to be. My other thing is that. knives. I like knives. <laughs> Tyler says, "Do not do it." Yeah. Yourself. No shit. I have seen some <laughs> stuff. Hi JJ. I see you're watching. That's I am. Uh, my other boss. Ah. Uh, Tyler says he can do it. Oh. I like the, um, the other, my other thing is knives. I like knives. Or brass knuckles. Patches. Yeah. I got told I can't buy any more patches, though. <laughs> my last order came to 35 bucks. So for, that's cheap. For one patch. So, that's still cheap. She thought it was a bit excessive. Well, it was a limited edition one from, uh... Deep South. Oh, is that your, uh... My jar of goodness. Jar of goodness. My jar of goodness. PRCC. What is that, dude? Yeah. PRCC. Black Rifle Coffee. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Yes. Like, there's... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five... Five Black Rifle Coffee stickers just hanging out on my fridge. Yep. But this is my favorite blend, by the way. My wife doesn't. Isn't too sure of it. Yes. The Beyond Black is my favorite. Best brand there is. Um, I also like the uh, Black Beard. You, yep. That's the one you tried. Yep. See, I don't like... See, I think we there just... There are only a few of the super dark roasts that I really like. I think, really, the problem is, is we just need to get sponsored by Black Rifle Coffee. <laughs> Message Matt. You're better at that. <laughs> Shit. Um, also, so since people are watching here, people are watching up here. Meh. And if you're listening. So, I started doing reviews of, like, personal shit that we own. Yep. Wow, my arm got jacked up today from the saw. Black but, Beard or the Texas Edition Freedom Fuel? Freedom Fuel is good. Um, Blackbeard is good. I have not tried the Texas edition. I know you're laughing because I said I wanted to get sponsored by Black Rifle Coffee Company. <laughs> I have a better chance of getting sponsored by Grunt Style, which is nothing against them either. Awesome. <laughs> 
See, I like Tyler. Tyler makes me like him and then hate him and then like him and then hate him. It's a love hate relationship. It obviously is. <laughs> um, but so if you guys know of companies that we should look at or know of products that we should take a look at or try, Tyler, you don't get to comment on this. Because next thing I know, Tyler will be telling me to go try this red dot. (laughs) Tyler will be telling me to try this, like, red dot that's infrared by, uh, uh, who made, do you remember that one I was showing? Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. God, they're still talking about it. Yeah. Dude, that thing is badass. Um, but anyways, they're, you know, like, I'm open to check out some companies, spend a little bit of money trying stuff out, or if you've got companies to... That you want us to check out and look at some of their products, cool. You know, somebody mentioned SOE the other day to me, and I was like, well. Bourbon, neat. Um, Three fingers. Bourbon. I'm not a scotch guy. I'm more of a whiskey guy, though. ZT Knives. Hey, genius. Bourbon and scotch are both whiskey. Yeah, but I drink... I drink Jack and Jameson. Those are both bourbons. Okay, well, then I like bourbon. <laughs> well, I know Jack is a bourbon. I think Jameson's a bourbon. It's Irish. It's an whiskey, Irish whiskey. So it might not be considered just Irish whiskey. ZT Knives are good. I'm a fan of the O what is it? O six five two or the not the O six five two. The five six five six six or any of the Hinder design ones. If you can get me a PBS fifteen, I'll gladly review it. Yeah. Um Yeah, knives are fun. I, I miss my hinder. I really wish I never would have got rid of it. Um, but yeah, whiskey guy. I drink proper 12. Jameson. What's your favorite bourbon? <clears throat> Me, I regularly drink Ezra Brooks. It's middle middle shelf. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it's probably the most expensive one I've ever drank is Whistle Pig. Um, I mean, it's not bad, but like, I don't, I don't have a reason to go buy a two hundred and seventy-five dollar bottle. Yeah, I'm trying to think what that. I can't even remember what it was called. And by two hundred seventy-five dollar bottle, I mean it's the size of a regular like Jack bottle. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's bloody fucking expensive. But I just happened to buy for my dad for... He said if you want to send us a, some PDS 15s we'll, we'll try them out and review yeah. them for you. Yeah, I'll review them. <laughs> um, my dad, I bought a bottle of Proper 12 for his birthday this year. Cause... Oh, god damn, dude. That smelled horrid. Like steak and baked potato? Yes. Could be because that's what I just had for dinner. Shit. Sorry. Um, so while I was in there at Giant Eagle, they have the Frank Sinatra signature Jack Daniels. $145 Jeez. for a bottle. That is one thing I cannot get myself to commit to, to getting like into is collecting high-end bottles of booze. Yeah, no. I know people that do it, and I would like the bottle of Frank Sinatra. I think it would be kind of cool to add to all the rare bottles that I have up there, bottles that are autographed by people and some friends. But I do not think that I could go and just drop 145 bottles on that, or 275 bottles on a, or, you know, dollars on a bottle of Whistle Pig, or, you know, three grand on... Some ni- 1892 reserve... Si- yeah, no. Yeah. 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 It's... It's not one that I would go out and buy, because it's so bloody fucking expensive, but it is very, very damn good. Yeah, I mean... Elijah Craig single barrel reserve ten years. I've heard that's pretty good. You gotta get on the Hate Project a little more. That one group that I, yeah. I add you to, they talk about whiskeys and bourbons and 
scotches and okay, yeah. I don't have I don't get on social media a whole lot just to browse through and read stuff. I do when I'm I mean, bored. I work. That's how on I read social it. media. Oh, I'm sorry. I you know. I said I work on social media. So I just really... do it for fun. Yeah. Actually, somewhere in this house, in that cabinet over there, there is a flask of Johnny Walker Blue Label. The one up there? No, that has. Ooh, I forget what's in that one. Now you gotta make me look. No, I know where the. I gotta just find the flask of Johnny Walker. No, uh, ask Tyler what the most expensive Johnny Walker is. That's what I know. Oh, Only made 19 barrels of Calumet single barrel black 10 year. He said there's only he only made 19 barrels of it. A Johnny Walker? No, a Calumet. Oh, never had it. About 80 bucks a pop. Oh, that could be why I never had it. Yeah. I know some one whiskey we went somewhere. It's a blue label. Blue label's the most expensive, right? Yeah. yeah. That's what's in here, and I don't know where. Hey, Tanya. Somebody sticky fingered it. <laughs> Where did my flask go with the blue label on it? Why would it be on the alcohol shelf? Aha! Here it is. Now, this was from four years ago. This is from Matt's wedding. Mmm, smells delightful. <laughs> Dude, I, I can get no. <laughs> I'm not a Johnny Walker fan, but I will. I Tyler per- said his favorite's blue. I just personally have that setting. Um, I don't know. I used to somewhere. Well, actually, no. One of uh, one of our friends' brothers, I gave the whole bottle to because I can't do it. It's Jim yeah. Beam. Jim Beam and me had a very, very, very bad time one night. Ooh. For a hundred and fifty dollar bet. Uh oh. But Angel's Envy is his favorite. Hmm. Never heard of that one. I'll have to Neither check it out. I. I did. You had. To, I had to do four shots as fast as I could for hundred and fifty bucks, and I had to keep it under twenty seconds. Okay. Two singles, a double, and a triple. Did it in ten seconds. Hour and a half later, I was projectile vomiting in the bathroom to where the point I ended up hugging the toilet and was asking my dad, who was an EMT, mind you, there was a lot more booze added on to that. Yeah. I was asking my dad to take me to the hospital, who was an EMT, at the time, at, you know, he was a former EMT. I was like, just take me to the hospital, I've got alcohol poisoning. I don't remember getting taken to the car, I don't remember getting picked up, I remember getting picked up and put in the car. I don't remember getting carried from the car to the house by my one friend, it was a bad night, I was... Gone. I'm in a Kroger. I don't know. There's not a Kroger around here, so That's I'll bet. But I'll bet you the. Uh, uh, liquor agency. Oh yeah, there's like four liquor stores. Yeah. At least I mean that's. The I thought you were there. moving up this way. So, booze is one. Guns, cars, motorcycles. Eventually, I'll be back on two wheels. That's my ultimate thing. Getting on a bike and just going. Like, back before I was married, before I had kids, like, if I had a bad day, like, I would just get on a bike and ride over to my brother-in-law's or just being out riding. Like, riding was fun. Yeah. Oh, that blows. Oh. That really blows. I still think you should move up this way. Yeah. Me too, but we can find you a job. There's a, there's plenty of street corners up here. <laughs> but yeah, no, I thoroughly enjoy anything motorsports oriented. That's kind of my vice. Yeah, it used to be pretty much like an addiction, almost like watching drag racing, not your NHRA stuff, but like yeah. your no prep and stuff like that. But um. After I sold my Mustang, I kind of just started focusing more on firearms and that shit. God, my eye is terrible looking. Dude, did I bust, did I bust a blood vessel or Wrong something? Wrong eye. 
look to your right? That's your left. No, it doesn't look like it. Because hey. a, a busted blood vessel would look something like that. Wait, like that? <laughs> but that's been like that since I was... Yeah. And they never called back. Damn it. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that, oh. that really sucks. That makes me very sad. <laughs> My grays. Um, that has been that color. It's not gray. Yeah, fair enough. Money is important. I gotta steal my own money. Yeah, but we could try to get you in at Valorick. Maybe. I'll let you know if they're hiring if you want to move up this way. My friend is the crane operator up there, and they make damn good money. I tried to get in at Valorick, but... You too as soon ugly. as I finished the initial you know, the initial Oh, they test went through part, their shutdown? Yeah, yeah. They did a hiring freeze and shutdown. I'm like, son of a biscuit. No, she's talking to me. Bite me, Barbie. Dude, she's mean. She can be. No, she's just generally mean. I'm waiting for her comeback. It's going to be where at and how hard. Uh, does Valor pay 28 bucks an hour? I'll get back to you. I, <laughs> I have two people I can talk to. I will get back to you this week. My stepbrother-in-law works there, and another one of my friends works there. I'll get back to you. You have experience, though, so... Um, what else? I mean, you probably have some... Like, I don't... I'm a boring guy. I like to read. I like to spend time with my family. When I do want to get away from my family, I like to go shoot or be outside, work on stuff. Tear apart a leaf blower because I can. Oh, I'm so Perfect let's... world, carry go. She said she's not me. <laughs> and my cousin's watching. Stevie, yes, you are. Perfect world carry gun. Oy. They are slung across your back. <laughs> a perfect world carry gun? I should be able to... A perfect world carry gun? I should be able to walk around with an MP5. Or a full auto 249. You said perfect world tire. If money was not limit. Oh, if money wasn't a limit, I'd be driving an M1A1 Abrams. Damn it! <laughs> Ugh. I can't. You're right. I can't conceal an Abrams in my back pocket. <laughs> right back at you, Stevie. An ATI 1911, which is hilarious because that's what he does carry. <laughs> I would probably go a Roland Special. Or a or a Blackhawk that uh, not the VIP one that's too much but that uh, other one I showed you that I like the all black the tacked out one mm-hmm. Parker Mountain Machine X I mean it, well let's put it this way you said money wasn't an issue in a perfect carry gun I'd just buy myself a Glock eighteen. With the giggle switch on it. Digger wants to carry a judge. Why? Stevie, I don't hate you. You're just mean to me. Explain to your wife I don't hate her. He doesn't hate you. My wife hates me. So. (laughs) Her reply was piss off. (laughs) <laughs> is he still awake I'll, I'll be right back 18 is garbage <laughs> what He's, Tyler says that's not practical dude 18 is garbage I've gotten him 
He's got an 18? That's what he says. Everybody's perfect world carry gun is going to be a little different. True. Because, oh, quote, he changed, he fixed his spell crack. Shot. An 18. He shot an 18. <laughs> I love how she put is. Yeah. Is. Isis, huh? You're trying to spell Isis? I-S-I-S? Terrorist. You know your wife's a Terrorist. Terrifying terrorists. Yeah. Well, this podcast has went straight to shit. Not really. No, not really. It is kind of stayed on topic. Yeah, it's kind of a random. Um, Perfect world carry gun. I I personally think a Roland special would probably be what I'm after. Or um. Oh, who's the dude that they had on there building the nice 1911s? 18 is just oh, cool to shoot, not practical. Ooh, he's, I'm telling you, check out that X-Comp. Parker Mountain Machine. Okay. I'll have to look it up. Yep. I mean, if we're talking carry gun, though, like, in a perfect world, I'd have that, like, thing where I could slide that gun the whole way down my leg and carry the friggin... Shockwave. The shockwave. TV says something pink. Oy vey. You've already got a Tiffany Blue 380. Why do you need something pink? Build her a pink AR. Well, I played on that. Something, something, something dark side. Something, something, something complete. Ooh, I did that damn good, too. I was like... Can you read what he said? I carry the roll on the comp, got annoying as fuck right next. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like this. I feel like Bane, dude. You were merely born into it. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, no. She doesn't want her AR pink. She wants it black. It's gotta be black, she says. There are so many things I want to say to this. <laughs> shut up. Just shut stop. up. Shit, I'll t- I take all that back. Mine is the STI DVC on Yep. Yep. That was gonna be my next... Since you don't like the rolling, an STI would be the... My next one. If I was gonna go for... Actually, that one... That's Mewtwo's voice. Oh. Yeah. When did Mewtwo become evil? I thought Mewtwo wasn't evil. You have to watch the movie. I don't want to spoil it for you. Who is... Th- okay, does he watch... Or does he... W- <laughs> no. You like black things. It's Okay. Anyways, um, can we mute her? <laughs> so, who's the guy? It's not Pre- Chuck Pressburg. Um, damn it, it's the, one of the guys off of primary and secondary. He makes, he's making a gun for Matt. And I can't think. I don't remember. I haven't listened to them. All I know is it's just, it, it, it's a 9mm double stack 1911. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say it, but yeah. That would be considered short, though, Tyler. That would be considered an SBR. <laughs> or, wait, no, 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 an SBC. <laughs> Why? Small block Chevy. <laughs> uh huh. Because that's what you're going for. <laughs> well. Anywho. Dad vices. Making terrible fucking jokes about your friends. That is a dad vice. Yes, and I'm terrible at it. I get a lot of jokes made about me. 
fun size. So you say one goddamn thing about my height. <laughs> yeah, but I can gib slap like a mother. No, not really. I don't want to do it any harder. You may punch me. <laughs> Sounded a little racist. Yeah, that'd be sweet. <laughs> Nobody asked you, Stevie. <laughs> uh, with that, we've been an hour and three minutes. Yeah. Uh, we will have to. That will be. You know what, Tyler. Next episode, you need to come on. We will get you on the actual show, and we will do. <laughs> Damn it! <sighs> Damn you, Tyler. Normally like that. Uh. Honey, you'd be impressed. They're still making fun of me about certain things. <laughs> I've heard uh. most of all of these, so it doesn't bother we, me. Have you seen those tab out bad dad joke competitions? <laughs> yes, those are good. Um, yeah, where you're not supposed to laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, say it on the podcast, you won't. Say what on the podcast? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Dude, I'm liking the whole Terminator looking eye here. I think I got something in it. Anyways. Um, we need to have a whole podcast. We'll get Tyler on because Tyler seems to be the pistol Nazi. Must make a tuna can into a frisbee. Yeah, Jesus. What the tactical no? No, no. I don't mind to be about to call it the tactical no. I'm not going. To, no. <laughs> there. Let's go that big. There you go. You see it? There you go. Anyways, um, that's on a good day. So we will have Tyler on. Yep. We will do an episode on the best carry pistol and why you shouldn't own an XD as a carry pistol. That's not so much meant for you. That is meant for someone else. I am not saying it! <laughs> no, not saying it. Can't say it. Dude, I mean, I no, I can't say it. You get me an RMR and I'll say it. <laughs> I'm waiting for his comment to see back with that. Anyways, we need to end this before it gets worse. Um, oh, of course. Look who just joined over here. No, that's been there. Oh, wow. Well. A while. So, oh, yeah. We may have that coming up. Give me an address. <laughs> you should never tempt me with this. Don't tempt him with a good time. Shit, what's today? Except 27. Two weeks from today. Two weeks from today, what? That's when we'll be, when we be recording next. Oh, no, I think we're going to just be doing this more often. Uh, we may have to go back to, like, back on, like, a weekly thing for in the winter. Oh, yeah. Just because... <laughs> Wait, what did he want an address for? I sent him an address. To come up for the show. Oh. 
Oh, wow, I sent him the completely wrong one. What would know? Wow. <laughs> Tamara is now seasoned. Bow season. Yes, I know. I don't. Well, I do have a bow, but it's not bow hunting. Tomorrow is now bow season? Yeah, why well, don't we know this? Tomorrow starts bow season. Yes, I know. Are you going to be out at uh, Grandma and Grandpa's hunting, Digger? Yes! Yes? Yes. Mayhaps. So, with that, because we're reading most of the comments, yeah. um, it's over. It's done. Have a great night. We will have Tyler either video chat us or come on yep. to talk about the. We can have. A, I can think of two episodes right now that we could do with him. The I can think of the carry gun two. one and then the best gun scenes, movie gun scenes. I can think of more well, than just that. Yeah, I know that. Like to the point where I think we should just have Tyler on. Yeah. A lot. Or better yet, we should have Tyler write shit for us and post on our website because I need people to write some shit. Yeah. Evans, that goes to you. Yep. Oh, boy. We're getting FaceTime. Just FaceTime him on there, and that way I can go smoke. Yeah. So, after that, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a pleasure to speak with you this evening, even though this has been the most... Uber. Most absolutely crazy bullshit episode Night, night. Man, he doesn't even know me, and he's making jokes. Wow. It's, uh, uh, the... Fuck it. Tactical Gnome out. Y'all have a good one. <laughs> Keep the beard in the tank. Daddy Brigade Podcast, out. <laughs>